Hi everyone, welcome back to Mixed Bikes Ship today. It is Christmas. I hope you guys all have a great Christmas. You get a ton of cool stuff and you have just a fun time in general. Have a good time with the fam. Um, I'm going to be ripping this snow bike and obviously my awesome themed gear. I've got the hat and everything, bro. I am amped. And we're going to be ripping this on. We got a, a ton of snow tracks to check out in this video, you guys. We got multiple. So stay tuned to the end to see the coolest one I have prepared for the end. And it is very cool. But you guys, I want to say one thing before I put this video, before I get farther into this video. Um, sadly, I am not home right now when you're watching this. I'm not home. Why? The Hurren is making an amazing snow track, which I'm sure you guys probably see on the way coming out. Um, and that's why I don't have it in this video. But... Don't you guys worry, I will be doing a video as soon as I get back, probably Tuesday-ish. Um, but yeah, that's besides the point here. We are on Winter Wonderland here. This track is a work in progress that I last know of. Um, it's kind of like a bunch of flats, like kind of like a free ride snow area, which is really, really cool here. And we are on a cracked snow bike as well. Sadly, for some reason, the snow bike got taken down. Uh, I don't know why, but I don't have a link to it anymore, you guys. I do apologize for that. I don't know how I would even go about making one so i do apologize for that look at that we got some cabins out here as well very cool but yeah this is like just like a big flat area of free riding it's pretty cool here i don't know if there's really any other jumps but like i said we got a handful of really good maps to check out you guys in today's video so be prepared because we got some very very cool stuff here um let's see what we got over here towards this mountain i don't know if there's anything over here um so this this yeah this just really just appears to be literally a winter wonderland just a bunch of snow everywhere yeah, it doesn't... Wait, is that a... Oh, hold on. We might be able to hit this right here. This looks kind of sick. All right, we're eyeing something up right here. Bro, look at this mountain. This thing looks sick. Down a little bit here. Damn, this timber slip gets it, boy. All right, see if we can hit this thing. Fifth gear pin. See if we can go anywhere. Oh, we're bogging a little bit. Come on. We didn't get much air at all. Much air at all. Um, so, yeah, there's really not, I guess, a whole lot to do on this track. I thought there was going to be a little bit more. Uh, it's still pretty cool, though. Don't get me wrong. The atmosphere... Oh, look at the houses over there, bro. It it has a really good atmosphere. Super sick. But, but yeah, I think we're going to move on to the next track because this track is sick. Don't get me wrong, but I don't want to bore you guys just riding around on the flats. So we're going to move on to the next track. All right, guys, we have arrived at the next track. And this one is called, I think, The Mountain, bro. Um, yeah, right here. It's called The Mountain. So if you guys want to find it up, just type in MX Bikes. The Mountain will pop right up. And, yeah, we're kind of like at a really cool ski resort here. Pretty damn sick, bro. So we're going to see what we got going on here on this track here. I'm pretty sure we've rode this before. We're going to do some first and third person. You guys will do a mixture of both. That way we can see the timber sled action in third person and get some action in first person as well, bro. But yeah, I really, really dig this Christmas vibe we got set up on us here. Our actual, I'm going to go back to piss so I can clear those jumps. Our actual gear. Um, I really like how also, if you guys look right there, the, um, Banners are kind of like Christmas lights, it looks like. Kind of gives me that vibe here. Cool, bro. One of my favorite snow tracks we got out. Um, the snow is not actually on the track, so if this was real life, bro, we'd be tearing this tread up. But this uh, snow bike up, bro. But it is very, very cool. You got it all around the sides, which is awesome. Um, the one thing I like most about it is, like, the area you're in. You're on a ski resort. That's pretty badass, if you ask me, dude. Ripping through the ski resort, bro, across the mountain. Oh, it's just so dope here. And on top of it, the track's amazing. It has great jumps, great corners. Everything's pretty solid here. Um, that table's a little bigger than I remember. But yeah, look at this. If I look back right here, you just got the cool-ass ski resort up there. It's just awesome, bro. And we got more tracks to show you guys, bro. So stay tuned because this is only the second one. Oh, I almost saved that case. I double a tap it there. But yeah, you guys have been having a ton of fun making these videos. Look at my gloves too, bro. I forgot to mention those. Look at that little Santa Claus. Kid's pin, bro. But yeah, if you guys get anything cool for Christmas, let me know what you guys get for Christmas as well. I'm down to hear what you guys got for Christmas. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we are a little deader than dead can be. But one thing I'm going to say about this track, um, it, 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 like I said, it has really good jumps, but the flow it has is pretty solid. That table is so peaky, and when you land it right, it's perfect. It's awesome. And I like how it's just so fun, dude. And this snow bike rips as well. I really don't know why it got taken down, sad to say, but yeah, it does kind of suck. Throw around the outside here, bro. There we go. Whew. All right, let's see if we can't hit this little table right here. Oh, God, we're going a little flat, bro. Oh, my God, the suspension racked. Come on, little keeper wick. But yeah, I guess I might as well talk about a few things real quick here. If you guys are getting a PC uh, for Christmas and you already got it or something, say you already got it right now because you're seeing this on Christmas, you're setting that BZ up, 
awesome, dude. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys are getting it to play MX Bikes, um, which I'm sure most of you probably are, bro, or any other games, that's awesome. Uh, I have a couple tips for you if you guys are looking for tips. Um, if none of you guys got a PC, well, then... Um, if none of you guys that are watching this just got a PC for bikes, and I'm going to feel a little weird talking about this, but I guess this goes for anyone newer rather than not. Um, I got a couple tips for you guys. Even though I'm not the best, I got some things that can help you a little bit. So stand up about 99% of the time around the track. You don't want to be sitting down anywhere unless it's certain corners here. Like here, I'll just stand up the whole, the whole time. Standing up works perfectly fine. Make sure you're standing up when you throw your scrubs and whips unless you want to look like a Gibo bomb. Just doesn't look realistic. Dude, I landed in a wheelie. That was badass. Um, but yeah, if you want to throw clean looking realistic whips and scrubs, I definitely recommend standing up and using rider lean. As you can tell, we haven't sat down one time and there is ain't no issue here. We're not going to clear this though. Are we barely? Um, there ain't no issues here Ooh, with our cornering abilities. Obviously, yes, for maybe sharp corners like this, you could sit down and use your rider lean. But 99% of the time, if you're in like big sweeper corners like this right here, you don't really even need to sit down. The bike has plenty of... As long as you use rider lean, you have plenty of control, and it standing up helps way more. The more you sit down, the sketchier you will get because you will be bouncing off the seat. You're not going to be using your, all your fully suspension, you know what I mean, bro? So, yeah, that is one of my tips. Um, I got a couple more. Rider lean is very useful. I actually, myself, can we clear that, bro? I didn't use rider lean at all um, until recently. I think it was about maybe a year or two ago. Caleb was like, bro, you got to use rider lean. It's so much better. And let me tell you guys, going from uh, not using rider lean to rider lean is insane. Not using rider lean, I thought it was perfectly fine. It's not. Trust me. If you are make, wanting to make the move to rider lean, you need to do it because the, you can corner so much sharper. Um, you can throw fatter whip scrubs. You can do everything so much better. You can bring back. Say you get swapped out. We're going to switch tracks, by the way, you guys. Say you get swapped out or something off the face. You can use your rider lean to bring that back way better than you ever thought of if you didn't have rider lean on. Um, so that's 110%. You should really run it. We're going to hop on the Supercross Edition here. The MJSX, I think it was called. So, yeah, super fun track here. And we'll do a couple laps on here on the snowback. We see what we got ripping here. Okay, we hopped on the wrong edition here. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, we're going to pretend like that didn't happen. All right, we've arrived. There we go, bro. That's what I like to see. We are here on the Supercross track, bro. Definitely a sick track. Hey, look at me go, bro. Oh! But, yeah, that was a couple tips I have for you guys. Granted, I'm not like... I thought I heard a weird bike there. Um... I'm not no MX Bikes Pro or anything. Um, I just play for fun. But those are a couple tips that I, I'm pretty sure 99.9% .9 of people can agree on there. Standing up in MX Bikes is pretty common knowledge, bruh. Um, along with Rider Lean, both of those are awesome, bruh. Um, and yeah, those two will get you started pretty well. And if you guys are curious on how to do certain things like movement on the bike and stuff, don't even worry about that at this current time. Uh, once you get the hang of the game, it'll come completely natural. It's, it's actually... You'll just learn how to do it as you play. The game is really not that hard comparing to MX Sim or something. I remember when I was learning Sim for the first time, I was like, oh my god, bro. It was so hard. So, if you guys, you guys can learn, you can honestly pick this game up pretty quick and learn it decently fast. Um, if you guys are coming from an arcade game, maybe it might take you guys a little bit longer, but once you get the hang of it, you will love it. Ugh, one of the better motocross games, for sure. I am sucking on Supercross, you guys. I really do apologize. Um, I have not played MX Bikes today because I've been insanely busy. I probably should have, but... You know, you live and you learn, right, you guys? One of these days, I'm actually going to have to sit down and try to get better at the game again. When I used to play before I actually made videos, I, actually way, I was way better than I am now. But now that I make videos, I spend most of my time just making videos and having a ton of fun trying to play the game, do cool stuff for you guys. So, yeah. All right, there's hit that triple there. Oh! Over the bars, bro. That was gnarly. I'm not going to lie. That was kind of clap. Let's double down. In case the doubles, we're going to have to double this awesome dude we're hitting this so slow that's what you love to see but yeah you guys these three tracks are sick like i said i wish i could be doing the hern track right now but i am not home so, but i will be doing it 110 percent once i get back you guys don't you worry um but yeah i think that's gonna be a wrap on today's video you guys checking out have the snow bike and just having a great time on here while you guys have a good christmas hopefully and yeah we checked out some cool snow tracks as well you guys so i hope you enjoyed we even wore some goddamn christmas gloves and gear bro but yeah if you guys enjoyed drop like stuff we very much appreciate it. like i said let me know what you guys got down below for christmas i would be hyped to know what you guys got and i hope you guys got some cool stuff i don't know why i'm casing all of these um i don't know what's going on with this here bro but i am Hitting these wide open, I'm still casing. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like, sub, would very much appreciated. And yeah, thank you guys all so much for the support on the videos recently. I really, really do appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'll see you guys next week, boys. 
Let's see if we can't rip it for a second before we this video out. Double. Wow, okay. 